No one can claim to be an expert on the future, but Peter Thiel said that we can shape the future by treating it as something definite. By creating new markets, developing new products, systems, technologies, and business models, we can set our course to meet that future head on, and maybe even heal the world. Ed Schmaltz, the CEO of the outerwear design company Wild Things recently said, today's economy is about letting people get what they want. It has been said that we are on the cusp of the third great industrial revolution, mass customization. Digital technologies such as 3D CAD design and printing are bringing individualization mainstream by making customization easy and affordable enough for businesses to adopt on a large scale. Many are worried about the United States being able to compete with global competitors' ability to mass manufacture millions of widgets cheaply. And they are right. We can't, and we shouldn't. But I propose that we, right now, right here in the United States, have an incredible opportunity and advantage. Direct access to the American consumer. In newly emerging custom product categories, local manufacturing is coming back to the forefront as technologies such as 3D printing are becoming faster, more sophisticated, and more cost effective. Smart robots, big data, better material choices, and much more powerful software are allowing for more robust, customized manufacturing systems. Science is becoming more useful, affordable, and adaptable than ever before. By shifting our focus to product service hybrid businesses and customized products manufactured on demand, we can compete on how well we cater to the needs of each individual consumer. Whereas with standardized products, brands were forced to compete on price, damaging their profit margins. In this new business model, with no product inventories, we can simplify and redefine the supply chain. This customization trend also promotes continuous innovation. As product development and prototyping becomes easier and securing intellectual property becomes harder. Designs are becoming obsolete with improved ones on the marketplace in less time than it takes to secure the patent. Self-expression is blooming in a world of online shopping and social media. People are expressing themselves on Facebook, Twitter, food spotting, etc. And user-generated content is evolving into user-generated products. We are already seeing a mental shift in consumers away from cookie cutter solutions and businesses looking to address that change in demand with build to order products. For example, Dell started with PCs customized in design, hardware and software options based on each individual consumer's needs. Nike ID allows you to design your own sneakers. Starbucks serves more than 87,000 different drinks. Websites such as Wild Things allow you to design your own clothing. The color, fabric, pocket placement, even adding features like hoods and zippers. Adagio Tees allows you to choose your own mix of loose leaf tea. My Muesli in Germany allows you to choose your own breakfast cereal ingredient mix, ideal for people with food allergies and sensitivities. This leads us to applications far beyond consumer products. Mass customization has the potential to heal the world. In our current healthcare crisis, we are experiencing an outsourcing trend. Medical imaging, billing and coding, IT, even ER services. Doctors and hospitals are outsourcing in order to, in order to increase their throughputs and efficiencies while cutting their overhead costs. And it gives them the ability to provide their patients with the latest in high-tech products and services. After working as an engineer in Fortune 500 companies across the country, I took some time off while my daughter was young to focus on parenting. And I started a mentoring program for children in poverty. Many of the children came from backgrounds with domestic violence or unstable living conditions. And others would end up with injuries from just being a kid. 
but they would often come in with traditional splints or fiberglass casts that were bulky, would interfere with their summer activities, cause skin irritation issues, and eventually just get filthy. The kids couldn't even wash their hands to have a snack. As an engineer, I knew the technology was there to provide a better solution to traditional immobilization devices. One little boy tried to hold his cast outside the shower for five weeks, got water underneath it, and ended up with permanent scarring. So I addressed the design and fabrication issues and developed a viable business model to bring 3D printed exoskeleton devices to the medical consumer marketplace. Amphibian skin is custom fit using each patient's unique body image scan. And it's designed per doctor's orders for each patient's specific injury or condition. It's fabricated from the same plastic as Legos, making it durable, rigid, hygienic, and waterproof. You can swim, bathe, or shower with these on. The breathable design is based on nature, an amphibian's amazingly adaptable ability to transition from land to water, reminding us that nature is our greatest teacher. In fact, science is defined as the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the natural and physical world through observation and experiment. The ability to combine high-tech alternative and natural treatments with traditional medicine allows for more optimal curative outcomes or precision medicine. Amphibian skin is custom designed so that it is adaptable for use with alternative treatments such as acupuncture, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation for pain management, electrical muscle stimulators to reduce muscle atrophy, and ultrasound devices which can cut bone fracture healing times in half. The most effective cancer treatments are not those standardized by cancer type, but those using each patient's specific genetic code, body chemistry, proteins, and tissue environment to design a treatment plan that most effectively targets and destroys the tumors with the fewest side effects. 3D imaging and modeling reduces the need for exploratory surgeries and saves lives by cutting operating table time for those needing high-risk procedures such as infants born with heart defects. Printing with biomaterials can allow us to eliminate the need for compatible donor transplants and organ rejections. 4D printing can allow us to design devices that can change physical properties when they come in contact with other substances. For example, needle sized arterial stents that can be inserted and then expand to fit when they come in contact with blood flow. Customized applications allow for the evolution of modern medicine by blurring the boundaries between the physical, our cultures, beliefs, and lifestyles for a more holistic human approach to quality of life. The advancement of technologies such as genome mapping can allow us to customize our nutrition, supplementation, environment, and lifestyles to eliminate the need for many of these treatments by eradicating the propensity to the diseases themselves. I leave you with the idea today that emerging technologies combined with new business models to advance and sustain them can and will impact our quality of life, not just incrementally, but exponentially. And that mass customization has the potential not only to improve the human condition, but to heal the world. Thank you.